every time I want a cigarette, I'm walking around the yard. It's been, I don't know, 17 hours, maybe a little bit longer since I had a cigarette. Sorry about the dog next door barking. Duck. The branches are kind of low on that tree. The Fitbit should be in Thursday. Thankfully, my husband doesn't really watch very many of my videos because I talked about giving him the tablet. It's part of his birthday present. I'm trying to build better habits. I am below said, taking back my life. And it's a good thing. So now let's show you. I'm gonna turn the camera around for a minute because my wisteria has finally bloomed. I planted it last year. Finally bloomed. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at all the little purple. My roses are blooming. So I'm going to show you those. All these buds. There's another bloom. Caterpillar or something keeps eating this one. But I'm determined, I cut it. Hopefully it will come back. And then this one, the miniature yellow rose bush. If I'd have known they were gonna do this, like this really big and that then azalea smaller, is the I only think. one. This one. It's the only one that survived. I think we're going to do roses right here. We're gonna put more rock down over here because for whatever reason, my rock, some of it has disappeared. It was so much fuller. We're going to get more rock. There's bees buzzing around now. But I am taking back my life, getting back my life. I'm trying to lose weight, trying to quit smoking. And every time I want a cigarette, I'm going for a walk around the yard. So it's ooh, day two of my no smoking journey. Last night was kind of rough. This morning drinking my coffee was kind of rough, but it feels good to you. have quit. This journey is about a, a number of things. Fridays are going to start being fitness Friday. I'm going to keep track of my weight loss journey and I'm going to keep up with how I'm doing with the no smoking thing. If I can get through this first week, it'll be a milestone. And then the second week, so that by the end of the fourth week, the smoking will no longer be a habit. It's not just nicotine, it's the actual habit of smoking. I have anxiety, really bad anxiety. I don't take anxiety medicine, nor do I take medicine for my depression or my ADHD. One of the things that helped me was the action of smoking. The, the now I'm walking whenever I feel the urge to smoke. I threw away half a pack of cigarettes. Um, I had them, I quit Friday night. Saturday night I threw the half a pack of cigarettes away. I left the cigarettes on the dining room table that whole period of time and I smoked one. What I'm doing is trying to add more physical stuff into my routine. So at my house, I walk around my yard. Um, if it's not too bad, I'll do one lap just around the house. If I'm having a really hard time, then I walk around the whole yard. If I replace the bad habit with a good habit, like I said, then I'll be healthier. I'm changing my lifestyle. I'm making healthier choices and I'll lose weight because right now I got on the scale I weigh approximately 177 I wear a size on an average I wear a size 12 my normal size though at 5 foot 2 should be anywhere between a 4 and an 8 depending on your body style um, my normal size before I hit my 40s was 
around a six or an eight. Really depended on the clothing, the line, the brand, what kind of clothing it was. And I figure right now, I'm not really gonna worry about the pounds. I'm gonna keep up with the scale. I'll weigh myself once a week. But what I'm going to do, I'm gonna have a tape measure. I'm going to measure myself. Hips, waist, bust, that kind of thing. And I'm gonna go by that in the in the weekly weigh-in. But Fitbit's gonna be my big thing. Now it should be here. Wednesday or Thursday, along with one of my husband's birthday presents. His birthday is the beginning of May. My goal, once I get the Fitbit, is to do 10,000 steps a day. I figure this walking, when I really want a cigarette, is going to help me um, get prepared for that. Now, I have been watching um, Sick, Fat, and Nearly Dead, or Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead. It's the Juicing with Joe, and uh, he has two different movies, documentaries. You saw my walk around the yard two different times. You saw my walk at home and you got pretty much a full body shot. Like I said before, I am I'm a size 12. And so far since Friday, I've eaten a little bit healthier. I've walked a whole lot more. I've gotten more exercise. I've cut way, way back on the smoking. Since Friday, I've had a total of five cigarettes. It's Monday around two o'clock. That was the exercise you saw I did this morning and um, I took my shower. I've been writing a little bit so Camp NaNoWriMo's a little bit behind but I'm making all these big life changes and part of my writing routine had to do with sitting down at my desk with a cup of coffee, a cigarette, and writing. And now I'm had to completely change up my routine, how I do everything. I'm really not quite sure of how I need a completely different routine and the writing coming in bits and pieces. Whereas I used to be able to sit down on the computer and write for quite a while. Now it's just, yeah, like I said, it's in bits and pieces. It's, it's a work in progress, but I have gone from smoking a pack a day to smoking Pretty much two. I did really well Friday night, but of course, I qu when I quit, about an hour and a half after I quit, I went to bed. Saturday, I smoked one. It tasted awful, but Sunday was my hard day. Sunday was really hard for me, but Sunday evening when Mr. Rockstar got home, he had a really tough time Sunday at work. We ate dinner and that after dinner cigarette. So we went out on the porch and we smoked a cigarette and we talked about the desire to quit and the need to quit. He said quitting cold turkey was going to be extremely difficult. Nicotine is a drug. And we decided that if we could cut back to one pack a week instead of a pack a day, because we're both pretty much a pack a day people. If we could get rid of the one pack a day habit and actually go to, sorry about that guys, and actually go to one pack a week, the more time that goes by when I don't have one, the better I feel and the less I want one. The, the, the biggest trouble I'm having is that morning one with the coffee and then the one after dinner. And those are the, the, the tough ones. This is going to be a new thing on my channel. If you really not, if you're not at all interested in, then probably Friday's videos won't be the ones for you because like I said that it's going to be Fitness Friday. I'm changing things up. Sunday will be my last weekly check-in with the Artist Way uh, because that's week 12. Um, I'm working on it this week. I'm at like 26, 20, I'm at like 27,000 with my word count so far. Today's 18th. I've got a ways to go. I'm going to try to make Wednesday a 5K Wednesday. My writer Wednesday may end up being my Camp NaNoWriMo check-ins. From now on, what I'll do is Friday will be Fitness Friday and Writer Wednesday will be my stuff for Camp NaNoWriMo. 
um, changing things up on the channel Mondays or copy chat which is what I'm putting here because starting on Fridays it'll be fitness Friday this was supposed to go up on Sunday y'all it was supposed to it was the end of the week and I had quit but I tried all day yesterday to do the footage and it kept corrupting I finally got it fixed for the most part and yeah that was really getting on my nerves too and I'm grumpy right now because I'm trying to quit smoking and like I said it is a chemical addiction but for me it's not even the nicotine that's the big deal it's the the act of smoking it's the physical act of smoking I enjoy that part of smoking I have actually considered even though I didn't want to vaping but the truth is I just need to quit altogether I don't want to replace a bad habit with a bad habit I really don't. I don't want to vape. I don't want e-cigarettes. They're not good for you either. I don't want nicotine in my body. I want to get rid of the habit. We'll see <laughs> how it goes. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. Everything is a work in progress. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.